my name's Alice Stapleton. I'm a career coach for those in their 20s and early 30s. And today I want to talk to you about the quarter life crisis, which not a lot of people have heard about. But when you talk to people in their 20s, early 30s about what this transition period looks like and, and how lots of people feel when going through this type of transition. It's a term that actually a lot of people identify with so I think it's really important that that more and more people realise that actually you know in your 20s and early 30s you, you can go through quite a kind of anxiety ridden quite emotional transition period where you start to really think about perhaps for the first time what it is that that you want from your life longer term so that is one of the main reasons is you know that that people feel like this is that it's kind of the first time that they've ever really thought about what they want from their life you know throughout education we're kind of told when to choose GCSEs when to choose A levels when to choose our university course and you know two to three years after university is is really the first chance that we get to think actually is this really what I want from my life you know kind of removed of, of those expectations from your parents and teachers and what your friends are doing that kind of thing so it, it definitely can be uh, quite overwhelming also because of of all the choice that we have these days because of globalization and international companies and cheap air travel all those kinds of things we realize that actually anything is possible and that becomes quite kind of confusing and, and overwhelming and there's a lot of pressure to well that we put on ourselves that you know we have to pick this kind of right choice we have to make this right decision about this one career that is going to satisfy us for the rest of our lives and I think more and more it's about realizing that you know the shape of our careers is is going to look and and does now look very different from that perhaps of our parents you know it's perhaps unrealistic to think that one single job one single career route is going to keep you satisfied with all your variety of, of needs and short attention span that it's going to keep you satisfied for the for the rest of your life and I think that's really important because otherwise you know it can be quite debilitating thinking oh you know I've got all this choice and I have to pick the perfect one the right one that you know, is going to see me through right until my 60s and 70s which you know you end up being a bit like a, a rabbit in headlights um, and also what doesn't help is that you know with with social media and, and the internet we're kind of inundated with with comparisons of of what everyone else is doing which kind of makes that transition really um really difficult and and much harder because we're looking at you know apparently our friends are you know amazingly successful and they're going to all these amazing parties and they've got these amazing cars and this house and children and they're married and we're sort of sat there thinking hang on a minute I don't have any of this and that can create quite a lot of anxiety and, and self-doubt and you know I think it's important that we recognize that with with Facebook and Instagram they're very much just somebody's highlights and the more I work with my clients and you know I've been coaching people for about five years now the more I realize that you know actually a lot of people in their 20s and, and early 30s feel quite kind of isolated quite worried um, quite kind of anxious about what they're going to do with their lives and I think it's important to recognize that you know so social media how how their lives are portrayed is is not always accurate and and you're definitely you know not on your own in, in terms of not knowing what it is that that you want to do with with the rest of your life and feeling like actually where you're currently at is is not where you thought you would be so one of the other comparisons that goes on is that you know we look at the timelines of our parents and, and think we're kind of somehow failing because we're not where they were at our age so perhaps at 30 they were married house car kids and actually we start to reach that milestone and think well 
I'm still in a flat share, living like a student. Um, I'm in a job that I definitely don't want to be doing next week, let alone the rest of my life. Um, and yeah, I think it's about realising that society has, has changed a lot and the economy that we're growing up in is, is very different to that of our parents and understanding that it's okay to not have all these things by the age of 30 because, you know, the housing market's completely different, cars aren't as, you know, valued or as needed as, as they used to be. And, you know, more and more people are, are focusing on their careers first um, before sort of settling down and, and having children. And, and especially in London, you know, the research suggests that, uh, you know, we're having kids much, much later than than ever before so you know realizing that it's okay not to be where your parents were at, at your age and because of how we now see our careers and the variety that we want and the work-life balance that we want you know we're putting other things first so you know it's it's really okay to to feel the way that you do and I think also what happens in in our 20s and early 30s is that because of the, the sort of the lack of accessibility of, of things that used to define us as adults like owning a house, owning a car, being married, having children because we're doing things like that much later we actually are kind of delaying our, our independence and our adulthood I suppose so you know, as a result, we're, we're kind of remaining slightly more adolescent than, than we have previously. Not immature, but just we're, we're not quite as kind of emotionally developed or, or certain as, as perhaps generations before have been by, by this particular age. Because, you know, we're, we're still searching, we're, we're still kind of dependent on perhaps our, our parents financially and, and that kind of thing. And so we're still, you know, we might be well into our 20s, maybe even early 30s, and we're still asking ourselves questions like, you know, actually, who am I? What what do I want from my life? What what are my values? And what motivates me? And, and, and what are my strengths? And we're not quite we're not quite there yet in terms of our self-awareness and, and knowing ourselves. And I think that's quite a lot of what happens in, in the quarter life crisis, that that transition period is that we really start to ask these questions and get to know ourselves a bit better in, in order to start making more informed choices about what it is that we want from our future in particular our careers and that's why I think it's actually an amazing experience to go through it might not feel like it at the time but you know by answering these questions you start to really pull together that future um, that you want and you know identifying the, the detail of, of the vision that that you want to work towards and actually it's a really great opportunity to to do that and sit down and and think through you know what it is that that you want from your future so yeah it might it might not feel exactly great at the time but you know it's, it's good to have that knowledge that actually if I go through this transition now and I really sort of reevaluate where my life's going and what my goals are and you know make some decisions now about how I'm going to to change the the kind of path I'm, I'm going down then you know that really sit, sets you up well for the future and a career that's going to satisfy you and, and fulfill you and and really kind of be reflect who you are and and your values and what you're motivated by so yeah I think it's about recognizing the quarter life crisis that that transition period in your 20s early 30s as as an opportunity to shape the the future and your career in the way that that you want to and that's exactly what I do with a lot of my clients so if that's a process that that you're interested in in sitting with a coach with and, and working through those questions about who you are what it is that you want what your values are and what career might 
suit you best then then do get in touch i arrange free introductory sessions to talk about the quarter life crisis how coaching might help you through it and so yeah website's alicestapleton.com and i hope that was helpful and i hope you feel less alone if you yourself are experiencing that transition okay thanks